Good morning from Southeast Missouri. Once again, money and news and all that. Um, we're going to switch it up a little bit today. I, I don't have no news. Nothing I can think of worth talking about in the trucking world. And the load board, man, I've done everywhere. And it's like, uh, nothing's changed, man. The rates haven't changed. There's still the same amount of freight out there. So I don't need to go through that again. Uh, so we'll skip that for this week. And I didn't have any requests that I can think of. Uh, I think I did have ones trying to ask me to show coast to coast freight. And guys, you know, I just don't run coast to coast. That's not where you're going to make money in flatbed. If you're trying to do long runs or team, uh, get yourself on a reefer or something. Um, because the money is in the Midwest, in the box. There's a box. I've showed you that on the lane video. And I never leave the box. So instead, in a little bit here, I got to go out and I need to rearrange a couple things and fix something. Uh, everybody, someone wanted to see, I've had a couple people ask me this, how I have my trailer set up, and where I keep my stuff, what I carry, that kind of business. So uh, we'll do that instead of the load board. And... The money will be short because I did a one and done because I keep supposed to be going in to get my engine rebuilt. But my mechanic, he just, man, he's drowning in there. And, uh, you know, one thing leads to another. This week he had an engine that needed the counterbore cuts. Um, and he didn't have the cutter for that motor. So I don't know what motor that is. Not a Cummins, obviously. So he had to order it. And, they, you know, everything goes on hold. It's it's always something when you're turning wrenches. So he, he begged me for another week. And, of course, I'm like, hey, no big deal, man. Truck's running fine. We'll do it. So we'll run next week. So this week I did a one and done because I got down to Alabama. This is not the strongest area. Not where I normally go. And there was stuff. I mean, I could have ran up to Chicago, loaded something. Brought it home for the weekend, but not knowing then what I know now, I needed to come home empty. So that's what I actually did. I came home empty. I was looked and looked and called and called, and I was even on the load board myself and calling agents just trying to get something to go to St. Louis or something. To so I got home Thursday, um, and yeah, I was I could have made it home Wednesday night anyway. Um, so, but I stayed down there hoping something would pop, and it never did. Um, loads going every which direction, loads going past where I need to go, loads everywhere except what I wanted. So uh, I ate the 300 miles and came home because my truck was supposed to have been dropped off Friday, but it wasn't until Friday I got the call and the text, please give me one more week, I'll make it worth your while. So hey, we will do it. That's long story short. We'll do the money, and then if you're interested in the trailer, that will be on the end of the video. So let me get out got the envelope here i gotta get it all out and look up all my charges and give you give you the good the bad and the ugly and we'll see you in a minute bye now okay guys hey um got the numbers done here it's pretty easy we only did two loads this week like i said uh, i didn't write that down we left, we left monday and we were back thursday i like one or two, but I could have been back Wednesday night. Nonetheless, hey, if this is your first video, all these numbers are to me after CRST takes 25% of what they take 25% of, which is the line haul only and extra stop, which is thrown in the line haul now for the most part. You get 100% fuel surcharge, any tarping charges, any other charges they charge the customer is 100% to you. Um, they only deduct 25% from the line haul. All right, so this week we... Uh, this thing, are we good here? All right. Um, went from Blyville, Arkansas to Wayne, Michigan. That was one coil at 45,000 pounds. Paid me $1,802.25. At 267, a loaded mile at um, 675, 675 miles. We did hit it 31 miles to Detroit, Michigan. Uh, we picked up, I think it was about seven of those aluminum coils. I did a video on that, how to secure aluminum coils, if you want to go watch that. And weighed about 42,000 pounds. Um, they were skidded aluminum coils. Um, that paid me uh, $1,704 at 262 a loaded mile on 649 miles. I went to Huntsville, Alabama. That's where I ended my week. I didn't do the deadhead back to here, but the fuel reflects that. Uh, because I could have went anywhere. Um, so it's not a real good representation of numbers because I chose to come home because uh, thought it should thought my truck was going in the shop so uh, let's just do the number crunching that gives me three thousand five hundred and six dollars and twenty five cents and remember this is really only a two maybe a three day week I stretched it into four 
My CRST deductions every week are $370. I know a lot of you guys in lease purchase have much more than that, and I don't have a truck payment. But that is my $225 in trailer rent, my um, base plates, bobtail insurance, trans flow, service charge for the e-log, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I drew a little arrow here. That's really my root um, expenses. Everything else I give you from here down is going to be optional to you, but they are all tax write-offs as long as you have an LLC. If you have a 1099 and you're in the lease purchase program, most of these will not apply to you, which is why I tell you over and over and over again to go get your LLC and EIN number. But that would have left me a net of 2,076.83, but we don't want to pay taxes on that, so here we go. Um, this week, here's uh, stuff I spent um, that are write-offs, and most, some of these you would spend out there anyways, maybe. I had one parking and a shower. I had to buy a shower to Loves because I try to avoid the Loves. That's the flip-flop mecca of the world. But down in around Huntsville or Decatur where I stayed, actually I was just outside of Decatur. That's all there was. There was no other truck stop. So I stayed there. It was a pretty mellow Love, so it wasn't bad. But I don't have any shower credits because I don't fuel at Love. So um, I had to buy a shower. Where are we? Uh, okay. So those, that was 17 and 17 so $34. I got a truck and trailer wash an extra brightener that cost me uh, $99 ah uh, tolls prepass um you guys run up where I would have you would have this or more if you're paying at the booth um $66.55 a wife bought an office chair of $177.17 good night diva must be a nice office chair it's not here yet it's not this one um let's see Oh, I had to buy some parts for her car, an oil cooler that is leaking. That is our company vehicle, so that is a tax write-off. That was $260 plus $78 in oil and some other miscellaneous. And I bought fuel filters for the truck. That two, I bought six of them, so I'll be good for six months or something. Um, yeah, yeah, maybe more. That's that uh, primary filter. Um, they get dirty pretty quick. Seems like about every month I'm changing that. $229.30. Drops my net, what would be taxable income, but not really because I have other deductions. Then I don't really go over here, but that would give me eleven thirty-two sixty-three. I have four referrals, so thank you very much, guys. Scott C, I got your second one. Christopher M, I got your second one. A Ryan D, I got your first one. And a Joshua, I think it's you. Either it's a U or a D. I don't know. My wife told me, and that's what I wrote down. So. No, John. Sorry. I can't even read my own writing. John U or John D. One of you, I got your first one. So thank you very much. Those are 500 bucks each. So it gives the wife a couple grand to put in her pocket. Well, our pocket, whatever. But she can take her Southern Divas out to the thrift store and McDonald's. Oh, heck. With that kind of coin, she can probably go to Arby's. So thank you guys very much. I'm not going to throw that into the mileage numbers. We're going to use the 1132.63. Um, the referral bonuses are just extra. We appreciate them. Uh, so here we go. Loaded miles. Doo -doo -doo. I had 1,324 loaded miles at 264 a loaded mile. 31 empty miles. 1,355 all miles all in at 258. My cost per mile, extremely high this week. If you add the CRSD deductions all the way down to the fuel filter, office chair, throw all that in there. It gives you 2,373.62. You can minus that. From 350625, check your math, you get 113263. Gives me a cost per mile of 80. No, wait. I wish 80 cents. A dollar seventy-one. How could you possibly make any money at a dollar seventy-one cost per mile? If you were swinging doors, you couldn't because you can't even get that rate. Well, maybe you can, but it's pretty low. So you get a dollar seventy-one for my 258 all miles all in. Gives me 87 cents a loaded mile. Even with uh, not doing anything this week and buying all kinds of extra crap, we still edge out the company boys once again. All right, guys, that's all I got. God bless you. If you want to stick around, I'm going to go out here and get my uh, owner-operator shenanigans on. I got to do a little stuff on the trailer. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm putting a wedge in there so my pipe stakes quit sliding over into my chains and getting all wrapped up. And I'm also going to wash the trailer and wash the truck. Don't know why it's going to rain tomorrow, but I have OCD. Fan helps it. So if you want to stick around for that, cool. If not, we'll catch you on the next one. God bless you. Bye now.